So I thought it might be a nice opportunity for us to ask some questions that are a little bit um, off piece and not about the day to day businesses. I thought that it would be good for us to pick five questions each to ask each other um, and we'll we'll keep it down to 10 minutes. So a minute per question, uh, although I'm sure that we could talk for much longer than that. (laughs) So why don't I start by asking you um, what women in history or in your life has inspired you the most? Um, Yeah, I would say one of the women that I find um, very inspirational is Oprah Winfrey. Um, One, she came from a very disadvantaged background and didn't, you know, didn't grow up with a silver spoon in her mouth. And here she is, one of the most successful, not just woman, but person in the world. I mean, she's a multi-billionaire and created this just through her grit and will. And I, I just am so amazed by by that perseverance and the qualities that she had. Um, and she's just very warm and giving despite all the challenges that she's had in her life and gives back to people. Um, so I think on so many levels, she's admirable, successful, um, and a, just a good human being. That's a great pick. <laughs> okay, so my question is, what business lessons did you learn the hard way? So I, I'm starting with the tough question. <laughs> I think there's so many lessons that you learn. I mean, every year, I would be almost disappointed if I wasn't learning lessons along the way um because that's how that's how we grow um but I think that one of the most important lessons is that it's so important to know what your value is what is it really what is it that differentiates the business from other products out there or other services out there and once once I had that strong belief in exactly what it was we were trying to do and exactly what our purpose and our mission was, then it made it much easier to bring people alongside with that. Um, whereas it's hard to ask for people to believe in you if you don't have a clear vision of what it is that you stand for. Okay, so um, so your question. Um, what characteristics do you think are the most important to be a business founder? Uh, I would say perseverance, being able to um, stick to things when things when the rough the going gets rough, um, because it's it's not always easy, and you just have to, like you said, have a mission and know what your end goal is, and each day kind of chip away to make. Uh, you know, con- consistent effort towards that goal, mm-hmm. um, and it's not a sprint. It's it's uh, it's a long journey, and you have to be in it for the long haul. So the ability to stick with it and persevere, I would say, is one of the main qualities for an entrepreneur. I would absolutely agree with that. So my next question for you is: If magic were real, what spell would you learn first? I would want to have people appear, (laughs) basically travel instantaneously because I have a brother and sister-in-law in in New Zealand Mm -hmm. with their baby. And I also have um, my dear friends in the US and I have um, my sister in the south of France. So this year that's been very challenging um, to not be able to see the people that we care about um my friend had to cancel her wedding and so on so I think the ability to just cast a spell and have all of our loved ones around us would be absolutely amazing of course with full protective also gear that you can have cuddles with (laughs) um being able to touch yeah yeah yeah, I think that that's been such a big thing for so many people again coming back to the human beings Um, I think that's really what we all miss the most. If you hadn't set up ErgoWorks, what alternative job would you like to have? Um, Well, prior to doing ErgoWorks, my background's in architecture. So 
I would go back to that, but on a um, design build. I would like to find old buildings and houses and renovate them. So kind of a fixer-upper kind of model. Nice. Um, we did that with our office building. Uh, we bought the, uh, an old auto body shop and converted this to our office and warehouse. We had two fixer-upper homes. So I think I would do that. And to take it a step further, Italy's been offering people to buy homes, dilapidated homes in remote villages that have been abandoned for a euro. So I'd love to go to Italy buy up a village and, wow. and pick it all up and, and kind of recreate it and make it a destination. So I wow. think that would be a really fun, fun yes. project to do. There's a lot of love in, a, in an occupation like that. So Yeah, so that would be really fun. So kind of make something from very little and, and uh, be inspired. Okay, so I have another one for you. If you could live at any time in history when would it be and why um i i love the idea of being around at a time there, there was a, a time in history called the scottish enlightenment uh, where there was a huge amount of thought leadership that happened in scotland a lot of great academics uh, grew out of that that it was the birth of of uh, you know um modern economics and the birth of all of these incredible thought leaders and so that would have been a very exciting time but I think that now is an exciting time I mean the world is changing so rapidly that there's so much space for for thinking in different ways and from being able to make fundamental changes to the way that we live so now is probably a good time in history I think maybe not this year so much <laughs> well I know COVID has really uh, accelerated growth like it's condensed uh, 10 years into a year in terms of just technology you know so yeah I think you're right I think it is a pivotal time yeah and, and who could have imagined that a year ago we would have gone through this a year now and what, what how our lives are so different okay so your question now um oh this is a fun one um if you could have any superpower what would it be well one of my favorite uh, pixar movies is the incredible and the character helen parr she's elastigirl and I love her. She's a mom, and she is flexible, dexterous, smart, <laughs> resourceful, shape-shifting, and loving. So uh, I think she's my yeah. So I I would want to be Elastigirl. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what would you do? What's the first thing you would do with your powers? Well, uh, behind every great dad is a superhero mom. So I would just <laughs> remind my husband that you know. I'm, I'm right here with him and oh. uh, no, just, just being there to support people and help people and do what you can and uh, reshape how you need to, to be supportive of people. And I think that's what she demonstrates. And she did it with grace and humility and style. That's lovely. I love what a lovely answer. Okay. What qualities do all your friends have in common? Now, that's very interesting because actually um, I th the only thing that really my friends have in common is, is how different they are. I, I like people who are very unique and that, um, that kind of dance to the beat of their own drum. So I have a lot of very creative friends and I like to know who people are. So, uh, so when people are very open, and you can have these, these quite vulnerable um, conversations sometimes. I find that very, very wholesome in, in a friendship. And so at our, I was married a couple of years ago to my husband. And um, at our wedding, we just had people draw numbers out of a hat to find out where they were going to sit because we knew that, that our friends are so different and so eclectic and such different ages that actually it would be really interesting to have a setup like that where you know they could all kind of inspire each other so it worked out well as terrified as people were initially um okay this is this is i think your last question um 
If you could give advice to your 18 year old self, what advice would you give? Um, well, I'm approaching 60 here in May, so life goes by fast. So I would say um, don't, don't be frivolous with your time and just know, value your time because before you know it, you're going to be, you know, 20, then 30, 40, and the decades go by fast. Each year it goes by faster and faster. So, you know, take the bull by the horn, find out what you want and go for it. You know, don't hold back, you know, go for what you want and kind of create your own reality. It's up to you mm -hmm. to make your life you want it and don't put that in the hands of someone else. So take control of your life, go after it and make it happen because it can. If you can envision it, you can make it. It's about being creative and seeing your vision in your life. That's a really good answer, really good advice. Um, I hope that there's some 18 year old women watching this. Okay, so one more question for you. Uh, what do you think of when you hear the word, quote, successful? I think that's such an interesting word because it means such different things in different contexts. So, you know, I used to say that I was a single mom before I met my husband. And um, I used to say to my boys, I have twin boys. And so through oh. some of our more challenging times, I would say, you know, we might not be rich with money, but we're rich in happiness. And to me, that was successful. That was a measure of our family unit success was how happy we were. And I think that's a really important value to, ha to, to, to think of that as success because it is successful. And, you know, this past year, I've thought a lot about what success can look like when you're so unable to control the macro of what happens in this world. Um, but you can celebrate the little things. You can celebrate the step by step by step through this year, whether it's somebody on furlough or whether it's somebody, um, you know, having lost their job sometimes just the little things that they can achieve in a day is hugely successful for them and so I think that that's what that that's what success looks like for me this day so I'm really excited about what um Ergo Works and G Hold um have planned for this year and um I think it's going to be it's be, it's been really it's such a pleasure to be able to work with you again um, I know it's been a while. I'm so glad you have new products. So I'm excited. 